Now, for those of you who might be familiar with deck stacking bows, you might be looking at this and thinking, it's not a thicket bow. Oh no. Well, he has this base. He wants to finish the craft and he asked, can I please do it for him? And I said, sure, of course. And I did confirm with him, are you fine on this base? Are you fine with tier three cold? He said, yes and yes. So I'm gonna go ahead with it. Although traditionally, most people would do this on a thicket bow, just so you know, but we're gonna do this craft for Greg because that's what he wants. So the first step, most people would do this if you were just starting with a fresh base. You would alt spam for bow attacks, fire two additional arrows, and then you would imprint, augment, and try and hit tier two or tier one cold fire damage, and then go from there. However, that step does take a while and costs a little bit of money. So he got this and we're gonna just move ahead so first thing we need to do now is create an imprint. And for that, we're going to be using the Krayisic Chimeral. We might need a few of these. So let's go ahead. First up, we need to create an imprint. For those of you who are unaware, an imprint is kind of like an undo button. It can only be applied to magic items. So now what we need to do is regal this and then annul it, so we hit the regal. This is just so that the item is rare because the next step, you'll see. But anyway, we need to make it rare, but now we need to annul off that lightning resistance. If we miss it, luckily we have this undo button, so we're going to annul. We missed it, so now we have to use our imprint. So now we create another imprint. And again, we're going to regal. And now we're going to try an all that sun duration. And we did. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to keep this imprint because next step, what we need to do is kind of something similar now. We need to get the hunter influence on this bow because there's a very specific mod that we need. That is the mod that makes it a deck stacking bow. So now we need to slam it with hunter exalt and now the next step is we need to annul off that mod this is kind of scary and we failed which means we go back to the imprint step ah uh, this gets expensive really quickly all right here we go we've got our imprint what we need to do is regal and then annul that mod and we fail, so uh, we need to go back and imprint. And I'll do it again. Imprint. Oh boy, please. Let's get it this time. Let's get it this time. Once again, regal, annul, cry, imprint, regal, annul. Cry. Imprint. Let's just pray we get it this time. Alright, let's just do it right here. Maybe this is the luck. Oh, is that? Oh, that's two five. Regal. And all. Oh my god. I think we're gonna need more imprint beasts. Let's try it again. Imprint. There we go. Imprint. Regal. Projectile speed. Annul. Oh, shit. Got our imprint. Regal. Annul. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is brutal. I'm almost out of annuls as well. I'm going to have to go buy more. Okay. Regal. Annul. Yay, finally. Okay, next step. We're gonna hunt her. Oh, sh don't lose the item. Nearly ran away. Now we slam it. 90% chaos dot. Now we need to, fingers crossed, one in three shot of hitting that chaos dot. Please. No. Oh, ah. Greg. Greg, Greg, Greg. Ouch. Okay, imprint, regal, 
and all. Oh my. Wow, wow, wow. This is unfortunate. I believe we've gone through 10 of those. Now, Greg is out of money because we need this 8x for the next step. However, I'm feeling nice, so I'm gonna help Greg out. Let's get some more imprint beasts. We got more. Let's create an imprint. Regal. And all. Oh, dude, come on. This is brutal. This is actually brutal. Regal. And all. Okay, finally. Now. Moment of truth. Slam it with the Hansa. If this fails, we are in super expensive territory. But it's a 1 in 3 chance to get this. This converted to cold. Okay. Please, and all that. Yay! We did it! Excellent. And now, I have a few extra creators to Chimeral. So, Greg, don't, don't feel bad. I only used one extra from the ones I bought. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is craft on multi-mod, which is the craft that says can have up to three crafts of modifiers. Then, we're gonna do suffixes cannot be changed. And then we also need a craft on prefixes cannot be changed. Now, I do not have that, but by completing the Plague More 5 prophecy, here we go. And here is the prefixes cannot be changed craft. Woohoo! All right, I accidentally read the wrong prophecy. I ran the Plague Ball 5, which unlocks cannot roll attack modifiers. What we need to do is Unbearable Whispers 5. This will let us unlock prefixes cannot be changed. So let's go get that. So to do this, we just go into the lab and we can do any lab. We can do just normal lab so that it's quick. And then at the end, there's gonna be a tome and we click that and then we will unlock prefixes cannot be changed. There we go, we've got prefixes cannot be changed. Okay, now, <laughs> prefixes cannot be changed. There we go, we've got it. Now, you're thinking, why the hell are we crafting? Prefixes cannot be changed, suffixes cannot be changed. Well, the reason is that we can now do a harvest reforge, including a cold modifier. And because our suffixes are full and we've got an open prefix, we can actually re-roll this and guarantee that the last mod is a prefix with a cold tag and the only one with the cold tag is the deck stacking mod there we go cool so the next step is just going to be to remove the crafted modifiers and then with this last 2x we're gonna go can have multiple crafted modifiers can have up to three crafted modifiers now I believe Greg wants the attack speed and quality, which is this. Attack speed and quality. And then crit multi, right? Or what is the last mod? I'm gonna have to talk to Greg. It's probably gonna be penetration or something like that. I'm guessing it's penetration, but I will confirm with Greg, and let's see. Okay, I've confirmed penetration is the last one, which costs an exalt, so let's slap that on. And lo and behold, we have our final bow. Hooray! So, all in all, this took about... I don't know. I'll count it up. Probably something like 18x, but here's the finished product. I'll put it on the screen. Tier 3 called... And it's got the deck stacking mod, two additional arrows, and then attack speed and quality. Last step, I'm just gonna maybe give this guy a divine because it is horrifically divined. So let's see. 60 to 105, that looks good. One, two, yep, no, no, no. We gotta get that two to four. That's actually really good. Well, I'll leave it up to Greg and then let's see, maybe we can link it for him and Give him a nice little six-link bow. 
Well, Greg, I tried. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to join our Discord, then check the link in the description. Also, if this video was a bit all over the place for you and you prefer something more concise, I will link Elishar's video in the description as well, where he goes through it on Craft of Exile. There's none of the actual in-game stuff, but it's kind of more to the point, step by step, whereas this is more of a, a crafting adventure. So, thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.